Jay, I know you didn't want to make this night about you, but uh, how does winning your, your debut feel? Oh, it's a good team win. It's a good team win, and um, I enjoyed the, the way the game was played today. I thought that our players really played hard for each other. Um, Mike Smith turned in an A, a performance, uh, allowed us a chance um, to get to work our way into the game. I thought we got better as the game went on tonight. Uh, and what I really liked to see was when the game was on the line in the third period, uh, we valued hard plays. And uh, that's a credit to the players in the dressing room. Um, I like the fact that it was an emotional game today. And um, it's been an emotional couple of days for this team. So I, I'm pleased for our players. Uh, you seem to really put a lot of trust and give a lot of uh, minutes and responsibility to some of the guys that you've, you've known from, from Bakersfield this year and have got some opportunities this year. What did you see in some of those guys and what allowed you to give them that trust to, and, and feel confident in them? Well, there's a familiarity and understanding what ca what their capabilities are, and uh, uh, that's that is built over time and through mutual mutually shared experiences. Uh, won some games with with the people that you're referencing, and so I've seen them in certain situations, and I have a belief that they can get the job done. Uh, I wouldn't put them in those situations, and certainly Dave wouldn't put them in those situations if we didn't think that they could get the job done. Um, for me, I thought it was uh, uh, important for us to play 11 forwards and 7 D-men tonight based on um, sh distributing the minutes out amongst the many. Um, I thought we got contributions up and down that lineup. And uh, for me, like I said, uh, I saw a group of men playing hard for each other and uh, it was fun to stand behind the bench tonight. You play seven defensemen pretty much every game in Bakersfield because you have so many defensemen there. But did it seem just very comfortable then to, to go with the seven defensemen? Maddie, I would say that that uh, came out of uh, uh, necessity of where our team was at last year with um, the personnel that we had uh, heading into this season. Um, we had a number of NHL prospects on the back end uh, so what do they say about uh, necessity uh, being the mother of invention and that's just something that we felt comfortable with I don't know that that's a sustainable plan going forward given the amount of hockey that we're expected to play here but we'll uh, we'll look at it as we move forward we know that we can do it now and uh, like I said I thought it was a solid performance from everybody that that played tonight did you get the game puck game uh, yeah, the players gave me the game puck tonight, and Dave and I are going to cut it in half, I think. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's not about uh, us coming in. It's about the, the hard effort that our players put in. And are there stuff to clean up? There is some things that, uh, that we have to clean up. Um, but, uh, like, for me, we're going to take 15, 20 minutes here and enjoy this win, and uh, we're going to come back tomorrow with a professional attitude and continue to, to work at our game. Just on your deployment, it looked through two periods like you'd really spread it out among the forwards. Um, then in the third, you know, you went to certain guys a lot more and they seemed to have that gas that maybe you were looking for. <clears throat> Is that a philosophy, maybe to try and keep it as even as possible so that if you have to lean on them at the end, it's there? I thought it was by design tonight. Um, uh, it's also the third game of four nights for our team. Uh, so it was cognizant of that. And when we got into the third period and I saw that it was two to one, uh, we let our team know that we weren't sitting back, that we were going to be aggressive, that we were going to play on our toes and we wanted to go after them. And I thought uh, those players that played a lot in the third period had a lot in the tank and had more to give and, and they gave it. Leon Dreisaitl on the penalty kill. Uh, I know you, you sometimes you like to use your skilled players there. It can be risk-reward. Is that something you plan on doing, and, and why do you make that decision? Well, I think we're in the early stages of addressing uh, some things on the penalty kill. Um, so for me, it's getting to know the capabilities of the people that we have at our disposal. I uh, can't forget that we haven't even had a practice to work on our penalty kill. We've made a few small adjustments. Uh, the one that went in tonight, it went in off a stick. Uh, that was hard luck. But, um, you know, we're going to figure it out as we move forward of uh, who, who our 
who the players that are available to us uh, make for the right mix on the penalty kill. I, you haven't been here long enough to you know, implement a bunch of system stuff, but were there some, some bullet points that you wanted to get across and that you saw tonight from the team? Yes. Um, I shared my meeting with the media here this morning of uh, the message that we sent to the team. Nothing uh, came uh, that wasn't tactical in any way. That was just uh, the principles that we wanted to see put into place right off the bat. Um, in terms of tactical, uh, we felt that we could uh, improve our physicality in the offensive zone. I thought the first goal was a great example of that. Um, we wanted to be hard and physical on offense. Um, the other thing that we talked a lot about is that we wanted to make uh, the other team work through a group of five men in all three zones. We didn't want to be piecemealed and, and let people spread us out and, and pick us through seams. We have some work to do in that area, but uh, I thought we contested lines pretty well tonight. And uh, um, like I said, we weren't perfect, but uh, the fellas dug in for each other and found a way to win the game. And you talk about taking a few minutes to, to, uh, to enjoy this one. Just when you're talking about fresh starts and clean slates, how, how really important was it that you guys got off on the right foot? Well, I, I think uh, any time that there is a coaching change uh, in professional hockey, there's a group of players um, that are buoyed by the fact that uh, they get a fresh start with a, n a new group of coaches. And then there's players who might feel they've, built up equity uh, with the coaching staff that had been uh, replaced. And so uh, for me, I think the message to the players was that we wanted to increase our work rate. We felt we could do that and, uh, and that there was a clean slate for everybody. And I thought we got a lot of really good performances tonight. Just a quick comment, Jay, on uh, Cody CC. He wrote him pretty hard. He played 26 minutes. And you also kept all the guys that have played 60 or less games in the NHL between 11 to 15 minutes. So the rationale between sort of a high for CC and then limiting some of the minutes and dispersing them amongst your younger team. Yeah, yeah, I think that's also part of the reason why we went 11 and seven tonight was uh, we wanted to, as I said, spread the minutes out amongst the many. That's not just up front, but also on the back end. Uh, for CC, I think he uh, is a veteran presence out there. He's able to um, take care of, uh, of people in certain situations. I think he's calm. I think he makes, uh, f to me, a lot of really good subtle plays on the ice. And uh, for him to play that amount of minutes in, in most situations was a real key in our win tonight.